What's good, everybody? Welcome to the show. I'm here to break down House of the Dragons episode eight, as well as Raising Canaan Power episode eight. I'm here with my lovely Kay Leezy, as always, in the building. What's up, Kay? Hey, Jay. Hey, Chad. Happy Sunday, officially this time. Oh, no, right? Definitely, definitely. So uh, we here. We about to break it down. Um, we ain't going to spend too much time on House of the Dragons. We'll we'll cover that first because we learned last time. So we do it last, then everybody ready to check out. So while people are still getting ready to come into the party, we'll cover House of the Dragons real quick. And uh, a couple moments of that, a good, you know, 10 minutes uh House of the Dragons. Um, I kick it off. I really enjoyed this episode. It actually has some heartbreaking moments. I was like feeling bad. Like I really never get touched hardly by movies and TV shows. But when I saw him coming with the cane all humped over, he was just struggling to do what he could for his child. I'm like, oh man. That's that a father's like, love, Jay. Yeah, that was that was hard right there. That that touched me right there. So, uh, what you uh, think? Somebody said no sound. You can hear me. Can you I'm hear me? hearing you clearly, Jay. Can clearly. you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Um, so, what's up? What you think about uh, this little this last episode and, and what happened and going on? Jay, I cannot tell a lie. <laughs> You ain't gotta I, just just show overall. You ain't gotta get too. So much. I so what did you think about the time jump? Again, uh, <laughs> I know, right? I mean, I was surprised the king was still alive, but he in bad shape. Oh, he looked like Tales from the Crypt. He yeah. looked like Tales from the Crypt. Oh gosh. Yeah, and then so, that speech at the table was heartbreaking. I um, here's what I don't. I, the fact that he's hanging on by the th the thinnest thread of hair is amazing, right? But the time jumps, they're bothering me. The, I, the connection that I thought I would have had by this part, I, I know for a fact, I just don't have it. I don't have the connection, Jay. Um, it's a new cast every episode. It's for the last three episodes, yeah, it's been a new cast. And it's like, I can't, matter of fact, this is four times we've seen the the B people change around us. So mm. it's like, what on earth? Did these little girls, they didn't even go from little girls to um preteens or I whatever. Know, right? they into, I was like, who's this big woman standing next to um Mama Fish, Fish Horse, Valerian? Who's this? Who is this? Mama you Fish. Know? <laughs> they 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 said they said Jill is a, a horse fish. Because <laughs> I did have to rewind it because I'm like, is that a Capricorn? But no, nah, it was a horse I on the top. <laughs> <laughs> but um, um, I love the story, but the, the the time jumps are keeping me from really, really connecting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the time jumps is a problem. Um, I didn't kind of got used to it. I'm not connected to any of the characters really either. Um, mm -hmm. I like Damon. Cause he'd been around for a while and he sure had no problem off with the head. Right. <laughs> Listen, are we calling him Damon? We can we slash put him to demon in there. I was giving Jay a story. I heard these ladies in the supermarket talking about it and they were like, we love demon. And I'm like, Oh gosh, it's Damon. <laughs> I want to think that we call him demon too. <laughs> the mizzle. He wasn't playing. He, is uh after I was surprised that just showed how he thought the king was so weak that he could even say stuff like that and be that disrespectful in front of everybody. He thought that the queen had his back. Nah, his brother was in the house. Whoop. Speechless. <laughs> but you know, he listen, he presented as savage from the first episode. So yes, I'm connected to Damon. Right, mm -hmm. because he is savage. He was savage with the 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 crab man. He was just he been savage, and I love it. We brought out half of his body. So come on, mm -hmm. you gotta expect that. 
And that's how I think that um, the connection of the fire was good between um, Rhaenyra and him. Because mm-hmm. Rhaenyra, she's savage too. Yeah. I thought she was going to tell uh, the the fish queen, Valerian, that Lenor wasn't dead. I thought she was going to... Huh? No, they can't do that. Why not? Why? That's how empires crumble with one weak person knowing the right information, Jay. No. I guess. I mean, she I mean, it's her son. What well, she would have made him go search out for him or something and bring him home or something. Search she'll say it to the wrong person when her belly hurts in her. She's gonna say it to the wrong person and it's over. <laughs> right. That's true. Mm-hmm. On her last deathbed. He's alive. Go find him. <laughs> Jay, and I was about to take a <laughs> Exactly. Find my ear. Right. Out <laughs> Valerian must not fool. <laughs> <laughs> so that I understand why I, I wouldn't have said nothing. I definitely mm-hmm. wouldn't have. Yeah, man. You see how they had the king just laying in the bed, wrapped up his little Legoland puzzle. It's all got spider webs. What you thought about Legoland? I know that was your little thing. I know. I did love Legoland. I was just like, damn, look how they got him. Like, Pop, you hanging on. You really, really hanging on, you know? He is. It was so bad. And I'll tell you something. He was giving him straight heroin, no chaser. Just drink it. Hey, man, just drink that shit. Thank you. So here's what I was thinking, right? I think it was the second episode, the second or third episode. Remember the men the Mesa was like, no, just bring him the leeches. Had they listened to the shaman, the black shaman guy who had his potion, the king might not have been in this condition. But remember, he was like, forget that. Just give him the leeches. Mm. And all in my mind, I'm like, was that the job of the hand? Because they didn't want him to use the medicine to get better and look at him, even though if we conclude the time jumps, he been falling apart for like 20 years. Yeah, it's been a slow death. It's been a slow death. And uh, he's really been hanging on in there. And uh, as he was falling apart at the end, he then told the damn song of ice and fire to the wrong person. He thought he talking to Rhaenyra. And he talking to her, and she gonna believe him. Why she ain't just dismissed that as him being C now? Why she believe in that? <sighs> Contankerousness, Jay. It's it just go a with, it go along with what she wanted anyway, which was for him to be in on the throne. Yeah. And, and so she like, well, he wished it on his dying breath. Well, you know, if I was, if I, because, you know, I try to be the advocate, uh, the other side advocate, like you do, Jay. Um, I would, I would be like, I would run with it too then. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what she's trying to do. So we'll see. Uh, Von Joyner got a good point. He said, Damon and the eye patch are going to catch up. Yes. He it squared up. He was like, all right, you picking on them. Hold up. And they kind of stood and looked at each other like, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a big one. And then Damon, he know it. He smiled like. Yes. We'll be Because Damon is a bad man, Jay. And I love it, okay? Shoot, he ain't taking nothing from nobody. And I am here for it. Okay, he's my character. Let's just Yeah, that's how I feel, too. He's like the only one we didn't had that that can be consistent. And right, I like you know the king. I like him, but he been falling apart. I feel bad for for Big Daddy Kane. He came up. Uh, I'm wondering why he made him walk in there like the crypt keeper. I know everybody to use that one, but he can't. Eh. Because it's true, Jay. Sometimes it's just true. It is what it is. I'm like, why they don't got a chair and carry him? Then that's what they do for dinner. I'm like, man, you made him walk that long ass walk, but he wanted to show he still had strength. Right. It showed how weak he was, but I'm not dead yet, bastards. (laughs) (laughs) I'm still here. And the hand, he was like, I'm going to be the hand. I'm speaking for the king. That door 
Get up like get your ass out of my seat, man. So you know, going back now because I'm I'm paying attention to the foreshadowing, right? Mm-hmm. When he said there's not a man alive, he they were at the table one time and he's like, There's not a man alive who hasn't the patience to wait out for their opportunity or whatever. That was him waiting it out, waiting it out, waiting it out. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. I got to look at this episode over again to really ingest everything, Jade. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Um, One of the things that I did like about this episode is when they brought Big Daddy Kane in there into the dinner. He he pulled off the mask like, look, man, I'm up here, Dallas. Forget all the fakeness. Let's, let's put all the fake masks, take them off. We <laughs> all here. It's all love. And then they had the toast and everything. I'm like, okay, it might be all right. And then, you know, Jace, he can't take, they still know how to push each other's buttons as cousins and stuff. And Yes. Boy, I don't know, man. You think Jace, they look a little little now compared to the Targaryen, uh, the, the Valerians. What would you think? Nah, he kept saying you all have grown to be very strong. Wink, wink. <laughs> Yes, Jay. I can't. I have to. Um, I have a little bias because this is my little book part coming in here. So I, <laughs> I'm just gonna be silent on this one. But it's about to be on. I already know. I'm it's sure. about to be on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> they they brought that pig out for the feast in front of him, and he kept laughing. And he like, oh yeah, it's funny, huh? <laughs> yeah, and he became quite a beast in battle. Now you see, uh, he using real weapons. Uh, that he could have got killed in that practice. He was doing good, so right. You know, this one eye Jack, good. he able to see it coming. One eye Jack is vicious, though. We, we, um, I'm excited to see Ooh. because um, they're gonna make that has to happen, like. With some accuracy. So I'm excited to see that. I don't think we should have any more time jumps. Everybody's of age to not do no crazy crap anymore. So um, uh, let's see if we go. Well, we only got, what, two more episodes? Mm-hmm. Well, we know the king is dead the next episode based off the right. preview. Um, plus, I didn't see. You know, I didn't see that. Okay. Yeah, the preview, the king is dead. And she's saying that he wanted Aegon to be king basically with the last breath. Mm-hmm. And it's going to cause a whole bunch of mess because everything was settled. We was just fine, just broke bread, had drinks, and here you go back with this stuff again. So It's yeah. about to be on. And then, you know, they got both got dragons. They're going to go to war with each other, kill, destroy each other. So... <laughs> The house of the dragon it's about to be it's the civil war the civil war now but mm-hmm. once again with all of that melee in the beginning now when it's about to heat up the season's gonna be over yeah leave you on the mm-hmm. cliffhanger yeah we had to get into it look at it again uh yeah. i want to do some more reviews for it so hopefully i can get some time we can get to it do it and, we will. Uh, yeah make it happen <laughs> All right. Well, we gonna go ahead and get into raising Canaan. Prime time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got some more topics on that show to talk about. Um, because it was a hell of an episode uh for raising Canaan last uh episode tonight, and uh just so much happened. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Everybody, mm-hmm. of course, want to talk about Marvin. And did he die and things? I got a video coming after this live stream about it. So make sure you check it out and uh, you can hear my thoughts on what happened with Marvin, if he lived or died. And as well, me and Kay Leezy covered it on the first reaction. So check it out. Yes. Definitely. Now, one of the things that we didn't get to talk about is Burke. All right, Burkle. 
More like Urkel over here. Being Burkle. Little... Yeah, let's keep that one. I like that. Burkle. Yeah, Burkle, a little nerd cop. So we got uh, Burkle over here. And she then got busted by snooping around. But she still keeps snooping. What What do you think is going on with Burke? Why is she so invested in Howard? She internal affairs. <laughs> on, her, on her free time, she internal affairs. She, she yeah, she maybe be want to be. You know these zealous, these zealous police officers, and they want. You know, I just don't. That she, listen, she got a hard on for this dude in the worst way. Right. Like you pulling up on rock at the supermarket? Why are you wilding? Crazy. And but she don't I even know him up. like that. No. But remember, she, she was out for him from the very beginning. From the very beginning. It's not just after he got shot. It was from the very beginning. But this, I love this, Jay. Howard, remember we were like, what's Howard going to do? The setup was real. The setup was real. So when, you know, he said that you got these these people, um, how you call it, saying that she had something to do with giving the kids the drugs or whatever the case may be, I was like, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't, come on now, Howard is running the streets. Come on, you, you messing with the wrong one. Yeah, so, definitely. And uh, one thing I'm wondering is, you know, she got checked by her, you know, commanding officer. Yeah. And she already now getting tied up to what happened with, you know, the girl. What's her name? Uh, little Cindy Lauper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, <laughs> that was how it set up. Was yeah. that not how it set up? Maybe that's why he went there to talk to that's the father because exactly. now the father's in on it. So yeah, that's exactly what hit me. Like, oh, that was the setup. That's why Howard went to the father. He was putting his plan because remember we talked about like he was playing dumb for Rock, right? He wasn't really expounding on his concerns about Burke, but right. she's somebody to be concerned about. So I think that that's Howard went to set that up. Mm -hmm. And put I that think. put that in play. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I mean, for her to go and talk to Rock after that, that was insane. I mean, insane. I know you've been saying that she's earned her death for a while. You doubling down on it now, or what? Double down, Jay. <laughs> definitely double down. Okay. Support gaming with the super chat said the captain looking like he want to clap Burke. <laughs> Boy, support gaming, you silly man. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat, appreciate it. Uh, definitely, <laughs> it looked like he wanted to slap her to me, is what it looked like. To like, me, I, I, I thought the slap too, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying, like, man, what the hell wrong with you? And uh, you know, you how it, much, yeah. Definitely. Then she going to ask how, oh, who told you? Like, I'm going to tell you who told me you sneaking, you sneaking around or you, you know, well, come on now, girl, you. <sighs> yeah, he said, I got eyes and ears everywhere. <laughs> hmm. But that's how you play it, even with your kids. You don't tell them what you know. Hey, just know that I know everything. So tell mm -hmm. me everything. When I, know, <laughs> I ask you, I already know the answer. So, so Bob. <laughs> right. All right. One of the hot button topics of this episode is jukebox and the drop squad. So <sighs> the church group grabbed her up, hemmed her up, held her head together. Held her down. Her, yeah, for one. We got a lot of questions, a lot of people wondering how did they know she gay? Uh, um, why didn't they do it in a church? Uh, you know, all kind of stuff. So what do you think about this? That they held her head, they didn't put her in the vice grip. And and why they didn't do this in the church? And, and how did they know? What do you think? You think uh, maybe she picked up on jukebox dressing boyish when they first saw. But 
who knows when they when she was first coming around but then again in the 90s everybody dressed hip-hop so i don't know what i don't think? know about that so i just have this i don't know jay remember, remember i was talking in discord before we did the first reaction and i was saying maybe because she did she was having conversations with the boy I don't know. Maybe he alluded to it or she maybe could have said something to it. I don't know. I just, I would love for them to reveal how that transpired. I, I don't want them to, 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 to rush over that part because nobody knows how they knew and they dealt with her like it was a fact, right? I think that they did it in her mama house where they don't want to play no porn in the church. Nah, you know, know what I mean? I, this whole thing was uh, um... This whole thing bothered me. So I went, I Googled it today. Um, it's called con conversion therapy. Oh, I think. yeah. You, did, yeah. you said I Googled it. <laughs> I did Google it I today. I did doing research, but I, yeah, that's that's what it's called. I'm, I'm familiar with it. Knowing about it, I'm not familiar okay. with what they do. Okay. I just know that that it exists, yeah. I never so they beat that. you. They beat you when it's some some psychological thing, right? So they do beat you in it, so that you associate the licks with the with Look the devil. The okay. So I'm I'm just so mad. I'm so, I'm telling you, I'm so pissed off about this part. I'm mad that the guy was in the corner. You know, the the the, the boy who she's dating or who snitched on her. I don't know because I it's beyond me. I hope her family member didn't tell Kenya. Because they know. So I hope it didn't come from Rock or it didn't come from Martha. I just don't. I don't know. And I'm I'm mad that I don't know. But I'm more. I think this was more detrimental to Ju than her fight. The fight for her father. Mm, I, got, I feel you on that. Uh, I, I agree with you in the sense that the fight with the father was was a little emotional because it was about the girlfriend and the tape and the Lebanese, uh, you know, uh, like she was Ellen or something. But, uh, you know, all of that was a little emotional, but more, I mean, it was a little of both. Whereas this was pure spiritual, yeah, to your soul, to your spirit. Who you are is a horrible person going to hell for eternal damnation. Right. God don't love you because of this. And God don't want you to... Jay, I was so upset. They tortured her. Yeah, that took it to a whole nother level. Uh, Marvin didn't take it that level. Um, and, you know, he wasn't going to put his hands on her, but she attacked him and did what she did. And then he reacted in the worst way, which... Yeah. I really appreciated that when he went to go and speak with Kenya and she smacked him, juke boy, she was like, uh oh, no. no. <laughs> what you think about that? She, she even said, dad, at that moment, boy. I loved it because of the, the stuff that he's been doing in his gentle way. Like, I'm still here. Even when he spoke to her in the kitchen, you could tell that that was. She understood it. She's not ready, but she did understand it. So I could see. And look, when he saw her burning the clothes, he's like, "Bum, let's go, yo. Let's deal with this. We're going to address it. We're going to step to her. Mm -hmm. So I loved it. And I loved the fact that he didn't put his hands on her either. Yeah, he's come a long way. And I think she recognized when he didn't react with violence towards her um, that maybe he has been trying to change, you know, which is, of course, how they do it. They make you start to realize the person's doing good, things are getting better, and then it's over. And, you know, I hope that Marvin makes it. You know, but uh, I don't know. It ain't looking good for him. Marvin Marv is in trouble. So we'll see how that turns out. Um, but it's really unfortunate what happened with Juke and Kenya. I had a feeling it would end bad, and I didn't know it would go to that extreme. 
So, but on the other hand, we see that relationship breaking down, but we see that Canaan is now got a relationship with Pops. Yes. What do you think about that? He got him sleeping on the couch. I was like, well, but you don't got another bedroom to put him in or something? Or bring him on the California King. Jeez, what's wrong with that? <laughs> but um, this is, to me, this is the difference between men and women, right? You see how he just loud him? You know, the woman would have been like, no, talk to me. Is everything okay? I need to know more. His father just loud him. And then I didn't like his interrogate you, you know, but that's, I guess, police talk. But he... um. You know, he just loud him. He's not pressuring him. And he didn't ask him, did you open the envelope? You know, if it was a female, we would not want 21 questions answered now. So when I saw it, I liked the interaction between them. I thought it was nice. And um, I'm glad that he, Kanan, trusts him enough to say, I'm going to go there. When, you know, he was he was in a state emotionally. Mm -hmm. That's true. Uh, now this was funny. Shout out to my girl Gina. She said, I like when Malcolm said, I don't know what you like to eat, so this is what you eating, and gave him two pieces of dry toast. Right. <laughs> okay, you saw all the spaggles of the, the oh, it was hilarious. It really was. Ah, uh, that made my mouth and throat dry. Look at that. It eat no dry toast. What the hell? Burnt, burnt yeah, butter on it at least. Or nothing. Off and then he up. gave him some juice. At least he gave him some juice to go with it. <laughs> I know, right? I would have just drank the juice, left that dry ass toast there. Me too. Yeah, he gave him two pieces of toast. That's what we call a wish sandwich. Wish it was something in it. He ain't got nothing. <laughs> hey man, he gonna wish sandwich. Yeah, enjoy. I'm good. Well, at least he toasted the wish sandwich. Then he toasted the bread as opposed to dry bread or just, you know, plain bread. Oh, gosh. That's I'm too much. Wish sandwich. I make toasted wish sandwich with cheese, man. What's up? He got, he slept with his Tim's on. I was just like, oh, gosh. Hey, he okay. slept fully clothed. He was ready to bounce at a moment's notice, boy. <laughs> uh, He's like, I'm going to cut to the back. I ain't going out the front door. Now nah, I'm going to cut to the back. Finally, he paid attention, right? Uh, but yeah. Rock never let him know that she saw him coming over there. Rock's a liar. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. So, you know, um, speaking of Rock, what do you think about how she handled the Italians and the rudeness, the brashness, but she a woman in the man's world? What, what do you think about how she handled that? I do not think that she handled it well. Like, okay, fine. I probably would have buttered it up and been like, you know, F him or whatever when I left. <laughs> but there's no way. There's no way I'd have spoke to him like that. Like, you wildin'. You knew, like, if somebody spoke to Rock like that, it would have been on. So she should know. So to me, that part, I was like, oh, really? She really don't got no chill now. You know, I'm still, except for the her and Kanan, I, I've been on her side. Mm -hmm. Crappy set me off, and now this. <laughs> I don't know what to think about it, Jay. What's, what's, her, what's her real deal, though? I think that it's similar to how, I guess, women, when they're... Uh, living in a masculine world mm -hmm. then they kind of have a hyper version of a man just mm -hmm. like men that live mm -hmm. as women or in a woman's world maybe uh sometimes for example a drag it's like a hyper version of a woman i uh, agree yeah so maybe she's a hyper version of a man Gangster. Even unbeknownst to her, she don't right. even realize that exactly. she is the hyper version. Jay, that makes right. a lot of sense to me because it makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, good one, very good one, Jay. I be thinking sometimes. I know I, you do. I know I you. Do. <laughs> I rock <watch> with you. <laughs> <laughs> right. So that's why it comes off a little so noticeable to all the guys and and brash. Because right. they wouldn't deal with each other that way. 
uh, you know, but the way she's doing things, um, she's, you know, doing things out of the ordinary and a woman and black and yeah. younger. And you know? in, a, in, in the industry of men. Right. Fully. Right. So it's a lot. I, uh, what yeah, do you so think honest, about what do you think about his response and wanting Marvin dead to make things even? Is that right? Uh, do you his reasoning is because Marvin didn't go to him, but I mean, does that cost him his life? What do you think? Yeah, I think that they were both fair. I actually believe I agree with Rock. I just don't agree with her mannerism and how she brought it to the table. It could have been delivered the other way, but I actually agree with both of them because he told her, I could have just went for your kid, a kid for a kid, mm -hmm. right? He was he was diplomatic. You understand? So I'm like, why you had to wild out like that? Like, I do agree. My brother ain't do that to your son. True. That's so amazing. right. But the way she carried herself and he stayed composed through the whole conversation, even the teller, like, you know, look, you know, look how you acting. Come on. I ain't rough you up. I ain't send no goons to come pick you up. I ain't take actions without consulting you first. I didn't even deal with it for myself. I told you deal with it. So I thought he was right. You know, I thought he was fair in everything he did. I also thought Rock was right, but Rock's behavior was disgusting. Her presentation, her delivery was awful. Very disrespectful. Yeah. Um, Gina got a point that said after she left Sal, her first move should have been to give Marvin the heads up that Sal said he had to go. Marvin should not have been out on the street. That's a great point. Remember we talked about that? Yeah. It should not have been out on the street. At that point, you're supposed to go in for hiding, even before. From the moment he said he wanted to meet in with Rock, Marvin should be MIA. We already yeah. know that you the link. You the common denominator here. So you need to be MIA. Marvin should have been thinking, I'm not going, I'm not being around none of my loved ones, my family, people I check for, because right now I'm a wanted man. Right. And as a matter of fact, I'd add on to that Lulu and Kane and all of them should be uh, on the low right now, because if they say we can't get Marvin, forget it. Get them. Exactly. Everybody go undercover right now, especially Kanan, because that's a son for a son. Right. So, they, you know, but back to what you say from the beginning, they not moving like they real kingpins. They're not moving like they really run in the scene. They moving very careless and vicarious. Right. Right. That's true. And, uh, you know, I don't know why they I've said this the whole series. They don't have bodyguards. They're not looking over their show. They're not doing none of the stuff that we know should be done in that type of work in that life. And, right. Yeah. Um, and uh, Jamari Riddick got a great point. Marvin should have been looking out when Unique told him what was up. That's true. Should have He should have went to Rock and told him, hey, look, this is what happened. This Nobody guy was sitting in the corner talking about, uh, we don't know if that's what it is. Yeah, we do. <laughs> that's what he was calling for his mostly white friend. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Confidentiality. You exactly. <laughs> but they all scared of Rock. Nobody's going to tell Rock. Kanan didn't go to tell Rock about the money. His father had to tell her, right? Nobody's telling Rock anything. Lulu's not telling Rock about the studio. Nobody, because they're all afraid of Rock, because Rock put putting the Rock down, and she's not being logical. So that's why her own family is, you know, evading her and going around her back to deal with certain things. Mm -hmm. So it's Rock's fault. It is her fault because she wants the trust and everybody to be honest, but she created the exact opposite environment. Whereas if somebody honest or has come with something. They'll get punished or even killed uh, so or made to look stupid. So they don't want to say anything, and that leads to more problems, just like she had to find out what was happening through Unique of all people. I know that was mad. pissed me off. That would have pissed me off big time. Yeah, oh, definitely. Know. Yeah. What's up, Barika B. Halat with the super chat? Thank you so much, sis, for coming through. 
She says some church members peep Juke was gay because they are on the DL. Shots. Exactly. Okay. The quiet, the quiet the, the what? The quiet director peeped. Oh, <laughs> I know her. Oh. I seen her before. Mm-hmm. She be okay. with Uncle Clifford. <laughs> That's one of Clifford's little girls. I'm done. That's horrible. I want them to clear it up. I could see this, B. I definitely could see this happening. Mm-hmm. Um, I want them to clear it up. I'm not going to be happy if they don't clear it up because it was just what, random, right? And mm-hmm. it was the level of torture that they did was too much because they didn't ask her either. They acted factually. Like they knew. And it was a setup, too. And they even know, I mean, it was a mental torture. I mean, because, yeah, they whacked her with a wooden spoon. I mean, it ain't like she was. They made her watch porn in front of a group of church people. They held her down on the chair. They didn't just say, put out your hand and you get a spanking. They right. held her down. That's what I'm saying. It's, it was torture, Jay, mentally, physically, yeah, I'm spiritually. Yes. Yeah. I hated yeah. that scene. Like, ooh. That was more than I thought. What I thought when I said pray away the gay was she come there for the church singing one day and they bring her in the back or something for like a Bible study and she be in the middle with a circle of the elder sisters praying, Bible thumping and praying, praying or maybe lay hands on her head or something and say, please get this, this gay demon or something out of her. Something. That's what yeah. I thought what I would have seen. To have her watch porn and held down and whack her, I did that didn't cross my mind at all. Me I thought, either. yeah, anything along the lines of being in the room and all of that stuff or something, I would have saw that. But the uh, the what you call it, that caught me by surprise. Uh, not happy, Jay. Really, really not happy. I was really not happy about it. I'm not gonna lie, it bothered me. And watching her have the fight with her father was hard to deal with, you know, especially the strangle part. It was really, really difficult, you know, but I'm not trying to pacify it. They were fighting each other. She was livid with him. He was an asshole. They were fighting and it was an unfair fight, but they were fighting. This is just torture, you know, Mm -hmm. just even just thinking about it again, like I, I wouldn't want nobody to misunderstand me and do me some violate me that way or anybody I know, my loved one, my family. What? I would lose it. I would run up in that church, Jay. Yeah, that that was a lot. Um, where's the bleep? Where's the bleep sound, Jay? Bleep me out because I'm about to lose it. Bleep me out. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Uh so we saw unique kind of talking with, you know, uh the, the Italians or whatever and uh they it seems that he kind of in the middle is he on rock side is he on the Italian side is he trying to be on his own side and just try to play the middle um mm-hmm. we did kind of hear a clip for the next episode of him saying something to the effect of he ain't gonna turn on rock or something like that. Okay. I didn't see I didn't see the um the preview. Okay. I've been trying not to look at it because I've been trying to stay um less frustrated because it'd be having me on edge, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> but um so I what think he's playing his side. He oh. is being he's being strategic and he want what's best for him. And if 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 wilding out with rock ain't best for him, because if he do anything to any one of them, rock gonna bring the smack down on him. He don't want that drama right now. He getting money. He not even running the show. He a middleman and he getting paid. So I think he's going to make movements for what's most beneficial to him. Um, and uh, and I also hope it could be on the black side. Right. And I look at it as he could be like, well, I'd rather deal with the devil I know than the devil I don't. Right. You know, Darren Hampton in the comments said, I think Unique is siding with Rock because he's still an outsider with the Italians. I He'll agree. always be an outsider. Never will be. You know? And his direct link is gone. His li- his direct link was the son, not the father. Right. 
That's he was in good grace with the father because of the son, you know? So, mm -hmm. That's a he good point. I forgot about that. Yeah, he did kind of get a little relationship with the father, but it ain't been that long. And right. he literally saved the ass of uh, uh, the, the son. son. You know, yeah. he saved his ass, literally. So, you know, that's different. Right. Yeah. But uh, yeah. we'll see what happens. I'm not going to tell you that I don't like that jacket, Jay. I'm just saying. You okay? don't? I said, I'm not going to tell you oh, that okay. I like that jacket. I love it. Okay. That Jacket brought Ooh. back memories. I My never neck had... feel all nice just looking at the collar. Yeah, that jacket is at least 10 G's. That jacket is lovely. Yeah, and then you might probably get it for five, but I think it's probably 10. But uh, mm -mm. Or more, probably 20. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that jacket yeah. is nice. It's what you call fuego, baby. It's fuego. Fuego, fire. <laughs> it's fuego. It's that fire. It's fuego, Jay. Yes. Fuego. Uh, but Ooh. that brought back memories. I never owned one or nothing like that. But seeing back in the time period, the ballers of the day that did have some and stuff, we used to be like, damn, he doing one. <laughs> damn, he balling. That coat is fire. I wish I could afford one today. I'll tell you what happened to a coat I had in this court, Jay. That's okay. that's a conversation for this court. <laughs> it's been my, mom, like my mom used to get furs and stuff like that. She never had this, but she used to get that type of stuff. And uh, just funny, we just was talking about recently what happened to it, and she don't even know. It's all gone. But That's why, you know, that's a key and a moral. The materialistic things, they just come and go. They do. They, they do. come and go. Yeah. You, you take care of it, cherish it, and then one day, who knows what happened to it. Mm -hmm. I remember her taking care of it and keeping it in the boxes and hung up and this and that all yep. throughout my childhood. And then when the house was sold and people moved, don't nobody know what happened to it. You just took care of this for years and years and years. And this is gone. It's gone, man. So, yeah, you can never really hold on to this stuff. You know, hey, the Egyptians tried to, and what happened? <laughs> That's why we're finding all this stuff now. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> so, hey, can't, can't put too much value in it, you know. Right. You know, when I was younger, I did value some of that stuff a little more. But now, even you know, you know thing, what, yeah, come and go. You know what really matters. You know what really matters. Yeah. So, you know, when I was younger, a car, uh, that was a big deal. Now, that's my car. Now, mm -hmm. man, you didn't have so many cars come and go and things. It is what it is, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what up, Brother Robert? Rob, big Rob. Rob, peace. <laughs> yes. All right, so we saw Palomar. As a lot of guys would like her to be a pal of mine. <laughs> <I'm done. laughs> uh, now that she no longer can get Canaan, is the next move famous? You see that face? She don't want nothing to do with this guy. She don't want <laughs> nothing to do with this guy right here. But I love this scene, though, Jay. He's like, oh, we talking about this? We talking about this guy? With what? We need to be talking about how Rob pulled up on Paloma this morning. Boom, bam, bam. I was just like, oh, this is how it would happen. This is why I love the show. You know, the authentic scenes that just draw you in because, yeah, you come through and we talking like, Jay, yeah, so what you, what's going on? I thought this was my homework. <gasps> but your mom's rolled up this morning on Paloma with the hammer. Bop, 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 you know? Yeah. <laughs> it right. was nice. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Famous wouldn't be ready for that. She would have him sprung for real sprung. I yes, mean, he would be Kanan teasing was about the door. Down the door. No. Nah. <laughs> he busted through the wall like the Kool-Aid man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Famous oh, yeah. wouldn't be able to handle that at all. Um, <laughs> now, some people say Famous might be one of Canaan's first crackheads. 
He ain't going to school. He in the crack house. He about to get thrown out on the street because Crown dead and ain't going to have no studio time for nobody. No time soon. What's happening? He lighted up the Lulu. Yeah. He better try to do something. Better try to go sit in the studio all day if you ain't going to be, uh, you know, going to school. Better sit there and get inspired. Well, the streets need another body for him to get inspired. So. <laughs> right. He's he going to be the damn crackhead body uh, the streets are going to find. Well, I wouldn't like that. I wouldn't like that. Like like, even though you know he's my he's my least favorite character, I wouldn't like it. I mean, I wouldn't say. I mean, I guess he ain't one of my. Favorites. I don't like him. Okay, he's my least favorite likable character. Right, you don't dislike him, but you ain't really caring. About yeah, I ain't, I'm rocking with him like that. He not that. So when I see him have special moments like this, I get excited. But you know, yeah. Burke is number one is my, on my bad list right now. She just got to go. Yeah, they ain't really famous. Ain't he down bad this season? Last yeah. season, he was looking like the star of the show almost with his little song. Everybody was downloading it. Street needs body. That's yeah. a dope song. I downloaded on iTunes. Right. Everybody like he a crackhead. Damn, he really was a musician. I know it's sad. It's sad. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he was a real musician. He he made it big. Uh huh. Got hooked on drugs and fell off. <laughs> you know, even when he was in the um the jail cell. Oh, 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 you like my shit? No, yo, no, I didn't, yo. I seen it in the call in the the freaking what trash. Exactly, it was in the driveway with the with the crackheads. Come on now, no, we don't like it. No, right? Yeah, that is true. Uh, right, yeah. Tressa C got a great point, and I was surprised as well. It's the first time that they even mentioned school in a while. When are they going to school? When do they have time? They are so busy, their lives is packed, but I guess they do leave a lot of time out of the day of each episode, yeah, but, yeah, because each episode probably covers a couple days at least. Well, I'm glad that they did bring it back in because, you know, everybody was saying that. I didn't want them to be like Tyreek, only running, running, running. So I'm glad they brought a little bit of the school back in, you know? At least oh, mentioned it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm fine with mentioning it. We don't need to see you in class. Oh, no. Nah. And all that oh, high school, yeah, friends. And like in the first season, the first couple episodes and that. That was cool, but after that, we don't need that. Let's let's see the streets. Exactly. Yeah, streets we are, yeah, we got the school stuff with Tyreek now. Oh yeah. Sorry, Jay. Speaking <laughs> speak of the school, has Lulu learned his lessons and now know how to deal with the music industry? Cause he showed up that strap on old boy. He said, I didn't pay you for the spins. I ain't just the money guy. Uh, you know, and uh, was what did Zaza do? Zaza did the evil laugh, Jay. Oh, hell no. I'm not even going to mimic it. I was going to, but oh, hell no. <laughs> Zaza is something else. Zaza is evil. So, so this episode made me think of her different. And early this morning, when we were doing the um, first reactions, if y'all didn't see it, y'all got to look at it, because I think it was a fire first reaction, this one at least, right? So um, I, when she did that laugh, I was like, oh, gosh, she bad. She really bad. I thought she was on Team Blue, but he don't need her on her team. And then somebody had put in the comments that could it have been in a, a setup from the get-go? Even though he pulled up on her, she could have went and she could have told, um, oh gosh, caviar, you know, she could have told him, yo, I seen this dude. He gave me the, blah, 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 blah. we can run up on him. He talking about some studio business. Oh gosh, I hope that's not true. But <sighs> mm -hmm. I, she would, that laugh was too much for me. Like she ain't flinched with the Jamaicans. She wanted to still finish up. She wanted, you know, get her rocks off. 
after you talk to me 50 G's, like what the hell you into? But she know, she know why. So she didn't care. What? You finishing? Now right. you evil laughing. That why you evil laughing. <laughs> Shout out to support gamers, spread love. I appreciate you. He says, Zaza gotta go along <laughs> with Luke. <laughs> Zaza gotta go. Zaza got to go. Gotta go, gotta go. I ain't scared I prefer, of you. I prefer, you know, I prefer Lugo than Marvin now. I would too, actually. And, uh, you know, I just really think London Brown did a great job on this show. I really enjoy his character. And uh, Marvin, man. I wouldn't want him to go. I, I enjoy his comedic relief more than Famous. Although Famous does have comedic relief a little bit, Marvin, I like better with the flow of the show. So, Jay, the... the oh, he the did. Got a little stinker out the wall. Little, <laughs> dealing with a little stinker. <laughs> I, I'm trying to go back in my head now. The... The, the DJ did try to make a move on Zaza, right? Um, I don't, I mean, he might have made a look, but I don't, I don't like, know. it's like you want to come, like, yes, he did, he did try to say something to her. So, but damn, that laugh still was evil, though, even though it was still evil. Mm. What up, Gina? Gina, Gina. we going to have Gina on here tomorrow night. Um, been busy working and everything so shout out to my girl Gina yeah. um, she said Lulu is silly to me Crown wasn't supposed to have nothing on him that would ID him no head no hands no feet let alone something that said Crown of Bulletproof Records Gina ain't playing Gina correct because Gina's correct she shouldn't have had no fingertips she shouldn't have had no teeth no nothing no dental records available get it out of here period yeah. So Lulu playing around, but remember, Lulu don't like to do dirty work no more. Yeah, and it was it wasn't done properly. It was done out of emotion, so you didn't plan it, you didn't set up nothing, you didn't you had to rush and figure it out. Like you just you messed up. So, but Jay, he had time to plan the disposal of the body. He put he it in. The in Why he ain't check his pockets? He's sloppy. He's sloppy. He not he not cut out for the dirty work. He pretty boy Lou, okay. And his big sister's a gangster, and that's just it. We thought he was we thought he was a don in the first season, but he's not. He just pretty boy Lou, and his big sister is a gangster. Mm -hmm. Crown, Crown Camacho was right. We don't need that one thing. That's it. Right. My bad, Gina. I forgot. I think she said she could have came today as well. I forgot. My bad. So, uh, but I definitely got you tomorrow. Um, yeah. The show is over now. I forgot though. Jay, <laughs> I'm side. getting old, man. I'm getting old. Y'all got to. Later work. will be greater, Jay. Yeah, I know, right? I know. Later. I still look like I'm about 22, but. <laughs> Peach fuzz. <laughs> All right, so we about to wrap it up, but before we do, we got a couple more things to say. Shout out to the 100 plus, 115, 20 people watching live. Everybody watching on the replay, appreciate it as well. Don't forget to check out my girl, Kay Lizzie, on Instagram at BKAllDay358. And, yeah. uh, you know, pull up. Check it ladies, out. Ladies, ladies, come through. This is girls chat, okay? We talking about everything that women go through with these men. <laughs> there you go. So it's the girls busy. group. Come through. Pull up. There you go. There you go. So definitely. So guys, don't be trying to holler now. Don't, don't make me have to be like Damon. <laughs> That's right. Sad. Off with the head. <laughs> My <laughs> Khaleesi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jay. <laughs> All right. So, what do you think is happening with these last two episodes? Just predictions, thoughts. What would you like to see? It don't have to be accurate. Just what do you think is going to happen with these last two episodes, uh, Raising Canaan? 
Jay, well, you know how I feel. Burke gotta go. Burke just has to go. I do want her around. She gotta go. Um, let's see. I would like for Kanan to say something to Rock. I would. That was one of the cliffhangers. I would like if he said something and she like, you know, because or showed him the 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 the, the paternity or the DNA test or whatever. Um, I would like to see that happen. Um, I want That's to see Marvin. Point. Yeah, I want to see Marvin alive. Woo, <sighs> Jay. Yeah, it's sad that that woman is probably dead, and. That's what happened when you start getting with the bad boys. No, nah, but she didn't know. So no. here's this, right? What if she lives in, in Kelly's fairy tale land, right? She lives, Marvin got hit, but he's in the hospital. He didn't die. Okay. 50 got 17,000 bullets and he's still here. So come on. What did right? he get hit with a 22, though? No, I don't know what he got hit with, but 50 no, did no, no, what, nine times, 10 times. Yeah, exactly. He's still here. So, geez. So, so in Kelly's Dreamland, right? Let's hashtag Kelly's Dreamland. That the therapist is still here, and Marvin took the hit for her, but he didn't. Um, he didn't die. He's in the hospital. So they gotta hide him, and come up with a plan to get back at the Italians. And bam, bam, bam. And oh, team up with Unique. Get his people. Cause she already working with him. Okay, all right, that sounds good. Uh, Joshua <laughs> said, "My boo Marvin got to survive. My Cowboys <laughs> won today. We four and one. How about them Cowboys? How about them Cowboys? <laughs> <laughs> cowboys do all right in the regular season, and then in the playoffs, we know what happened. Is it called performance anxiety, Jay? <laughs> <laughs> They they definitely got something going on, uh, but uh, you know we'll see. But anyway, what I think happened for this rest of these last two episodes is Rock is setting up her demise because she's trying to go to war with the Italians, and I just don't see her able to win it. I think she's gonna probably try to team up with Cavassier to you know get get some type of muscle or make our organization bigger he'll find out you've been shady on the back door then she'll have two enemies then she'll try to probably get the colombians to help and then that's when it'll backfire that now you working with unique you should have killed them and unique helped her now she in the trap there they'll leave her hanging and i think she won't have any allies and at the end Damn, Jay. That was a bad picture right there, huh? Hell yeah. <laughs> I was like, damn. That's how damn. I see it. It may not happen in the next two episodes and she's dead, but I think that people will start to find out that she been on one and the, the coffin is being built as we speak. You know. So is it safe to say Rock has earned her death? Ben earned it. No. Ben, ben earned it. My bad. Sorry. Okay. I was optimistic. No, no. <laughs> the optimism is gone. Rock has earned that death a long time ago. And mm. I think that she's finally going to get what she's deserved and earned. Um, so we'll see. I mean, she's killed. Scrappy and you know, D yeah, okay, okay. yeah, so she's had people killed and stuff. And kids, you're killing kids, she don't care, she don't even have no protocol. At least the Italians didn't want to kill her son, she don't care, right? She has kids killed, yeah, you know, so that messes okay. with your soldiers' heads. That's what broke Lulu. So That's yeah. yeah, so you know, she is not aware of all of that, and I think it's in trouble with the same with Lulu. He's picking up all of Crown's problems. Mm -hmm. He's inherited his issues. And what he, he should do is say, him. Yeah, and he should just say, Man, the hell with this studio, y'all can have it. It ain't like he's spent years with a time. You just got into this business, y'all can have it. I'm out. Cavazier, 
Cheers. I'm out. <laughs> Let him inherit the drama, right? right? And be gone, man. To start your own studio, start fresh, do it all over again. It, it ain't like you spent money building the studio. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. You put the money into it like that. Right. You know, the money you put in the Cavassier, you never get, not Cavassier, Crown. Yeah. You're never getting back. You know that. So mm -hmm. it's over. Get the hell out of there with your life. You over here yeah. dealing with, <laughs> with Cavassier <laughs> saying, look, I'll tell you the rest of this and just try to break even and get the hell out of there. Yeah, let me be your silent partner since you want to run shit on the boards. You know, you know what I mean? Let me be yeah. your silent partner. You you got it. I'll, I'll take the eighth. You take yep. the rest. Let me get my money back. Yeah, yeah. That's what we should do. Cavassier want to run it anyway. Yeah, yeah. But Jay, since since you killing off rock, right? Since you killing off rock, we were talking about an option. Dang, Jay, you you wicked. You very wicked with that one, Jay. Very very. Oh, that hurt my feelings because you know I love rock. She has been a staple for this for this show. So we were talking yesterday. Do you think if they get rid of the older family? the ability to keep the show running because people are like oh if they go the show ain't gonna run that's when they're gonna introduce the young boys exactly i agree 100 percent. and there'll be a time jump yeah because so really this show is so about the older family it's not really about canaan as much the right stars is rock and and the brothers you know yeah so. we'll see so at that point if they if they get so i won't be mad if that happens right the older cast goes, that's when everybody's gonna get Breeze and Jamie and Tommy because that'll hold the show over. Oh, it's gonna skyrocket. Yeah. yeah okay. It'll skyrocket. I'm I think like, it's already rock, but all right. Yeah, of course, I love Power Book Four Force. <laughs> but damn, I like this show. I this, know you do, this Jamie. Doesn't even feel like part of Power, really. Mm -hmm. It feels closer to BMF than it does to power to me. Me too. I feel so. Because I like... Okay, Jay. Uh, top three is good, right? Top three is good. So I like Raisin Canaan, then BMF, and then I'll say Force. You All know right. which is at the bottom for me. <laughs> and I agree. Okay. With, with that being said, we out of here. Everybody, thanks for sticking with us. Yeah, I'll see y'all on the next one. I got some videos coming, so check it out. Everybody be safe. Have a good weekend, and we up out of here. Deuces. <laughs>